Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how Windows Defender and OneDrive work together to protect you against ransomware attacks. So in this Windows 10 system, I haven't configured OneDrive yet, but I do have Defender running. So when I look here at Defender, you see that I have a yellow sign here under Virus and Threat Protection. I'm going to go in there and the uh, yellow sign is here in Ransomware. And then I finally find here Ransom Data Recovery, which is new. And here it says that in order to be able to properly recover from uh, ransomware attacks, I need to set up OneDrive to protect my files. So I'm going to go ahead and click Set Up OneDrive. And what I need to do here is to enter my credentials. So first my email. then my password and I'm going to choose my location here for OneDrive and then have a few details about OneDrive and finally I'm good to go Okay, so now my computer is configured for ransomware data recovery using OneDrive. And it's also important to go here to OneDrive and make sure that you're up to date, meaning that Sync is taking all your files to the cloud. And right now you have everything up in the cloud, which is good. So now I am protected. If I go back to home here, everything is green. All right, so that's when I'm going to go and simulate a ransomware attack. So I'm going to go do that and then come back. All right, so now I have a ransomware attack that just happened. And I, you notice there is a toast here that I got from Defender. So Defender is telling me that it has detected uh, a threat in the system. So a few seconds later, I got a notification from Defender saying that not only I have a threat detected here, but it has been removed. And now it's a good time to go and restore my files from OneDrive. So if I look here at Defender, you see that now I have a yellow sign here, but for a different reason, some of my files might have been affected by ransomware. And if I go here to the ransomware protection, uh, you see that I have this condition shown here as well. So I can go ahead and do restore, but before doing this, I'm just going to go here to OneDrive. And you will see in OneDrive, first of all, that I have these two new files here that have messed up my system. Uh, in a real ransomware attack, it would be a lot bigger than just a couple of files being dropped. It's just a simulation. So I can trigger the restore either here from OneDrive or here from Defender. I'm going to go ahead here from OneDrive and say restore. And what this is going to do, this is going to take me to the OneDrive website, straight to a page where we can restore everything to how it was before. So in this case, it's actually a fairly simple, uh, it's just these two items. And one thing you notice is that uh, I come into the restore page already with a point in time pre-selected. So all I have to do is go ahead and say restore and confirm the restore operation. And what this is going to do, it's going to go ahead and undo whatever the ransomware attack caused to my files. So I'm going to go back in time, and this is small, so this was pretty quick. And you can see that my OneDrive here is all good. And if I go to my documents, I see my documents are all there and I'm fine. Uh, what we'll see next here is I will go, I will go back to my OneDrive here and you'll see that the attack created these two files. 
and then after my restore these files were removed so this is a very simple case uh, in a real attack it will probably be a lot more files many deletes overwrites a lot of things and OneDrive would restore all these things now that I can confirm everything is okay I'm gonna go say my files are okay and this uh, completes I'm now back to a good state here and Defender is back to watching everything that's happening on my system all right so this was a demonstration of how Windows Defender and OneDrive can help you uh, can help protect you against ransomware attack and restore your files in case they're damaged thank you